In this video we'll briefly discuss what is mirtazapine, how it works, what it's used for, the dose and side effects, contraindications and precautions. Mirtazapine is an antidepressant. It enhances serotonin and norepinephrine neurotransmission, by serving as an antagonist at presynaptic alpha-2 receptors. Additionally some of the antidepressant activity, may be related to antagonism at serotonin type 2 receptors. It is also sedating, because of its potent antihistaminic activity. Mirtazapine is used in the treatment of depression. And it is available as 7.5, 15 and 30 mg tablets. And also available as 15, 30, and 45 mg orally disintegrating tablets. The usual initial dose of mirtazapine is 15 mg per day at bedtime. Increasing at 1 to 2 weeks intervals, to a maximum of 45 mg per day. Mirtazapine has an onset of clinical effect in 2 to 4 weeks, similar to other antidepressants. And it has an elimination half-life of 20 to 40 hours, allowing one's daily administration at bedtime. Common side effects of mirtazapine include, somnolence and sedation. Increased appetite and weight gain, constipation, dry mouth, and increased serum cholesterol. And as with other antidepressants, mirtazapine may increase the risk of suicidal thoughts or behavior, in children and young adults. Mirtazapine should be used with caution in patients with cardiac disorders, diabetes mellitus, elderly, history of bipolar depression, history of seizures, history of urinary retention, hypotension, psychosis, and susceptibility to angle closure glaucoma. And it shouldn't be used within 14 days of using malinhibitors. Avoid intake of alcoholic beverages and other CNS depressants. Use caution when driving or performing other tasks that require mental alertness or coordination. And get up slowly when going from a lying down or sitting position to standing because mirtazapine may make you feel dizzy. If dry mouth occurs, take sips of water frequently. Or suck on ice chips, or sugarless hard candy or chewing gum. Report to your doctor, any signs of worsening of depression or suicidal thoughts, particularly during the first few months of therapy. Also report any allergic reactions, and report any other prescription or over-the-counter drugs that may be taken. And finally, do not suddenly stop mirtazapine, and taper off slowly on your doctor's advice. That's all for this video. Subscribe and click on the bell icon for more videos like this one.